Lucia Lynn Scott, Executive Director of Critically Love. Mm -hmm. We serve families of critically and chronically ill children, so we like to wrap our arms around families completely, so we provide practical resources, so like um, things like the medical binders that you all help fund. We have um, advice for families on how to navigate school insurance, medical bills, all that practical side. We have counseling available for families, and so when there's one special needs child that gets a lot of attention and time consuming, it affects the whole family a lot. So we like to provide professional counseling, there's a financial need. And then we have inclusion education at local area schools. So a backdoor way to address child abuse prevention since child abuse is such prevalence in special needs kiddos. This is like a getting started spot. So these are all things that I wish somebody would have told me when my daughter was diagnosed. It'd be about 10 years to learn all of this information and gather it myself. We want families to not struggle like that. So we put it all here where they can see exactly what to do. This is what you need to do with school, insurance, you know, medical bills, like all those things are right here. And then they can start um, organizing the child's health care with divider tabs. And it, it talks about our counseling grant available to them personalized the child's name. A lot of our partners carry these in their offices and so they personalize it to the kid's name and then give it to them and it's just some kind of starting point introduction to critically loved. And our services we provide all at no cost to families and then they have something tangible to take with them as a starting point. So these are hugely important to our families because not only does it introduce them but it gives them like a place to okay I've got all these doctor's appointments and all these specialists to manage and and how do I, what do I do with all this information? And this is like a starting point to say, okay, I can, I can do this. I can organize it like this. And so these are like so beneficial. So we have families that come in. I'll use the example of Amanda. So Amanda is a mama and she has shared her story. So I'm not just, that is her real name. I'm not gonna uh, give away information that she's not willing to share, but. She came to us in just a broken place and she was really struggling to manage her child's health care. She's medically complex and treated at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And she came to one of our support groups through a, a local church and she went through like the six week class, was still really broken. And so I was meeting one on one with her, knew it was beyond what I could do for her. So paid for professional counseling for her. And through that journey, she just found healing and then came out of that and started leading other support groups and so just seeing like women that oh, just touches my heart so much because like that's what we're about and providing that support to families and then seeing them go on to support other families so just amazing and we have a lot of stories like that that just greatly thanks Peggy Kernels and all the donors and supporters for supporting Critically Love so we can provide these medical binders to the families that we serve. Thank you so much.